Hi guys, it is an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise, this picture perfect uh, Saturday morning, June 3rd, 2017, I hear my my neighbors here in uh, East Bumblefuck, New Mexico uh, cranking up their chainsaws to celebrate the end times. Can't think of a better backdrop uh, than the sound of chainsaws in paradise to uh, welcome in this week's Clueless Moron Roundup rant. But before I get into that, I need to dive into the Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag. And uh, actually this story was going to be part of my Clueless Moron Roundup rant. But anyway, this is not a comment from uh, my YouTube channel. Believe it or not, I, I, I do have this thing called a blog, a Humpty Dumpty Tribe blog, which I am uh, completely ignoring, but at least some of uh, other tribes members are participating in, in my blog, since I don't. Uh, some other alert tribes members do, and I want to thank Alert Tribes member Michael. Michael for sending me several stories, but the one that got all the uh, several comments was the story. It's, it's actually going to be my doomsday sermon. It, it deserves its own <coughs> its own <coughs> rant or its own sermon. So tomorrow I'm going to come back and read this entire story by a fellow named Andre Vichek. From Counterpunch, from Counterpunch, Indonesian Borneo is finished. They also sell orangutans into sex slavery. Yeah, talking about uh, it, it, it. Anyway, let, let's just read some of the. I, I'm going to read a, a few comments uh, and then respond to it. And this is just to whet your appetite for my doomsday sermon and my clueless moron roundup rant, as I say, which this was going to be the lead-off story. Okay, Christine simply uh, says, uh, what does Christine have to say? Most depressing. Yes, it is most depressing. Here is... Uh, who is this? Virginia Wolf. Virginia Wolf. Burn the land up. But the poor orangutans, ugh. I need to wash this out of my head. Good luck on this. And then our old friend Nancy Hope. I just love Nancy's last name. Why couldn't I have been born with the name Hope? Take it away, Nancy. <clears throat> this is just about the vilest thing I have heard of in a long time. God, the degradation of humanity is just so disheartening. There is not enough pity in the world to soothe these wrongs. I don't even know what that means. There you go. Living beings should not treat other beings like things. That way leads to hell on earth. As we see. As we see every day. So my response to, uh, to Nancy, Virginia, and Christine one of the very first YouTube documentaries I ever watched in my life, meaning it had to be from at least 2007 and is probably still up there, was of one of these orangutan sex slaves chained by her ankle to the wall so clueless moron sex tourists could pay to rape her. That image, as much as any image I have ever seen, 
is one of the main reasons I became a doomsday prophet, an environmental alarmist, the chronicler of the long overdue collapse and fall of global industrial civilization, and a depressed collapsitarian, the sick, twisted horror that lies in the hearts and crotches of men and women makes me embarrassed to be a homo sapien. And the sooner we are gone, the better off every other species of Earthling we share this planet with will be. There you go. And uh, as I say, you can uh, come back tomorrow for my doomsday sermon when I just read this whole story about what the, the truth about the shit that's going on down there in, in Borneo. Good God Almighty. Uh, so, I need to dive into my clueless moron roundup round. I've got, I think, 33 stories, but before I do, I want to come back with my quote of the day. Uh, from someone who is not a clueless moron. Hallelujah. There is evidence that there is intelligent life on the planet, and we're going to come back with the quote of the day to celebrate that rare fact <clears throat> in the end times. Bye, guys.